This week we've got Miles Jones and Adidas Lacrosse stepping up to sponsor our episode of String League. Everybody knows Miles, he's an electric player, he tore it up at Duke, and he's seeing a lot of success right now in Major League Lacrosse. We're also really excited to see Adidas back in the lacrosse game, making strides, they're fully invested, and we love to see that. I'm gonna kick it over to Miles now, let him handle the rest of this episode. Hey guys, Miles Jones here, Adidas lacrosse athlete. I'm here for String League 3. At Adidas Lacrosse, we believe sport needs creators. Create a customized freak lacrosse cleat and an enraged head around a concept or story of your choosing. Function of the cleat and the head are less important than the design. In other words, do something different and create something. All right, now let's talk about prizes. First place, you get a feature on the Adidas Lacrosse Instagram and your very own pair of Adidas Ultra Boost sneakers. Second place, you receive an icy pair of triple white Adidas gloves. And for third place, you receive your very own Adidas carbon fiber lacrosse shaft. Good luck, everybody. Can't wait to see what you guys create. What's up guys, Miles Jones here, representing Adidas Lacrosse in String League Season 3, Week 7. So with Adidas Lacrosse, we asked our contestants to create a head and cleat to match or be different to tell a story of their choice. Now it took me a long time to figure out the placement for the, uh, these six contestants because they were all so good. At number six, I have Chris Burke. I really like Chris's idea of you know, telling a story in, in, a, in a very poetic way. He tells a story about you know, the Native American and the creation of life. And I think, it, I think it's a really cool way to tell a story in, it, in a kind of a rhyme scheme. But I was hoping that he would have a little more color to his design. I mean, writing the poem in different colors would have made it pop a little more. But overall, I think it was a really good design. Next, we have Philip Pierce. I like Philip's you know, use of different colors and funny sayings, like no blood, no foul. I, I would have liked for, for Philip to have added a little more color, a little more design to the cleat, along with the sayings, but uh, he rounds out for fifth place. At fourth place, I have Matt Simpson. He did a, a silver cleat design to match a gray, tr half traditional string job. The string job is legit, it looks really nice. But I think I would have I would have liked to see a little more string along the top, I, although it is a very unique look and uh, one of a kind that I've actually never seen before. In third place, we have Richie Bennett. Now, Richie has a really cool design. It's uh, you know looks exactly like the setup I have for my Bayhawks. Um, the cleats are actually Bayhawk themed. It's all white with with the, with the blue and the lime green that pops the number 15 on there, and the Adidas symbol it is in all in all green, which I obviously like, because that's my that's my current team right now. So Richie, I have Richie at third place. Now second place was tough. It was hard for me to choose between the last two, but second place, I have Taylor Smoke. Taylor Smoke has a really awesome design. He has lacrosse, a lacrosse stick on the side with his last name and the, and the bear paw. And on the inside, he utilizes the three Adidas stripes and the Adidas logo, look like turkey feathers, along with a traditional stick that matches the same the same colorway, brown strings with tan strings, really good uh, submission. But I have to give first place to Chris Deal. He went with a camo, red, white, and blue uh, look with JR10, who obviously is very close acronym to me. You know, J uh, Jimmy Regan was a Long Island guy like myself also a Duke lacrosse player like myself who was killed in battle um, after enlisting in the Army. He was an Army Ranger, and I think this one's obviously close and dear to my heart, but um, other than that, the design of it's really cool. You know, he has the camo uh, strings up top along to match the camo toe, and the red, white, and blue obviously 
matches the, the laces on, on both of the cleats. So those are my top six. All the contestants did a really good job. Stay tuned. That was a crazy final contest. But you don't win with just one contest win, do you? That's right. You have to win the entire season. So now that it's over, let's check out the leaderboard to see who ended up as our top dog for 2017. Thanks so much to everybody for watching, for participating, for our wonderful sponsors stepping up and creating such creative challenges. This was a really fun season three. It was an absolute pleasure on my end to be involved with it, and I'm already looking forward to season four. It's gonna be unbelievable. I'm Connor Wilson from lacrosseallstars.com, and it's been my pleasure to take you through this run of amazing strength.